This playthrough is rated T for teen. Alright, it's time for us to become hunters. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Walter we'll back here with another episode of Ark the Lad 3. In the last episode, we talked to the hunter, uh, uh, Legal, and he pointed us towards the direction of the hunters. And we, you know, we decided to say we're going to be hunters too because we want to be awesome like him and travel the world. So I've started seeing less reasons to become heroes. So I, I didn't want to grind too much off screen. I got a little bit of extra money. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a weaker set of armor for uh, Alec and uh, <clears throat> then give the leather robe to uh, Lutz there. So let's go ahead and... Oh, right. I have to sell the mints for this. So let's sell a mint and buy a uh, uh, <clears throat> travel robe. We'll equip it and then we'll give the leather armor to Lutz because we need some armor. And where we're going, we're going to need armor. So... All right, let's see. How much money do I have now? 14, so I'll have to sell the other mint. Because <clears throat> I want to rest before we uh, head on out. Yeah, we're supposed to get, uh, like, a ghost crisp, gross fragment or something like that, so... Yeah, everyone else in the Hunter Lodge was making fun of us, but you know what? We're going to show them what's what. We're we're 16 years old or 17 years old or whatever whatever age we are. Because to... usually in a lot of Japanese games, usually the characters, usually the teenage characters, usually end up being, like realistically they're like 14, 15 or 16 and then the american versions we turn them into 18 to 21 depending so but i don't know for sure like what their ages are in this game i never actually researched that specific detail but would be surprised if it's pretty young you know but anyway it doesn't matter that somehow we can cast magic and use swords with abandon so why not all right anyway let's head on to our next uh destination so all right, so we have to head this way, so to the trial cave. So let's head on in. Oh, by the way, this is a, you have to finish this whole, um, we can't leave while we, before we come in. So make sure you're good to go before going in here. Nice 3D effect. This is the entrance to the trial cave? I'm sure this is it, Lutz. What's with the cold feet? Uh, cold feet? I don't have cold feet. You're wearing shoes. All right, then. Do we have all the equipment we need? If we're going to go back to town for supplies, we better do it now. Uh, get, <laughs> get in that cave. No, Lutz, we have enough supplies. Let's get this over with. Them's the words I wanted to hear, friend. I mean, maybe grab some more herbs if you're worried. But... Now, and then, uh, why don't you take the lead? Or wait. Let's, if I didn't know better, I'd say you were scared. Well, they've never done this before, so, you know. Anyway, let's uh, travel through the cave and see what we can find. There's going to be a decent amount of treasure in here, so keep a look out for that. Uh, and the, the dungeon's pretty straightforward. There's nothing complicated about it. Uh-oh, monsters. All right, let's prepare for them. So choose your party. Obviously, there's only two choices. Yeah, we're pretty close to getting level. By the end of this, we probably will hit eight. Anyway, we got two new enemies, or two new enemies here. Slimes and uh, vampire bats. The problem with vampire bats is they can heal you, uh, possibly, by biting into you. By, uh, by uh, I think it's like 10 HP per, per suck, so you have to be kind of careful. So. But luckily, they don't have a ton of HP. However, unfortunately, not enough movement. So, Yeah, make sure not to get your back exposed, so... Man, you're, you're good. Yeah, see, 10 HP per, per attack, so... Ah, Lutz is just weak enough to not, uh, heal. Now, we'll probably have to do a knife, knife, uh... Knife storm, so... Or knife for enemy. But say, I should finish most of them. Oh, we got an herb for that. Nice. And we gained a level. Yay! All right. Anyway, uh, the uh, the slimes are nothing. They're like 15 HP. They do. They can possibly split. Uh, six for Alec. But yeah, there's not much to them. Just attack him. And make sure to keep your back, uh, back not exposed. But now, now that we get uh, herbs. Uh, and there's another benefit to having let's around too, but we'll find that out here in a moment. 
Yeah, most of these fights are gonna be pretty pretty quick for the most part. Bye bye. Yeah, that was pretty easy. I mean, we did take let's took a decent amount of chunk of damage, but all right, let's head right here to get the first set of treasures. Actually, should I? Let's see. How's our how's our status? I could probably go without healing for now. Save most of that for the boss. All right, let's get in here. Ah, excellent treasure. Hopefully, a tree doesn't get away with it. Whoops, wrong button. All right. Anyway, inside we get an iron knife. Yeah, we got one before, but we can just sell it now. And we get an herb. All right, we'll take that. We'll probably need it in the cave. Not that this cave's super difficult, but, you know, it's our first dungeon, so that's why I said you should probably level grind to level 5 before going in here. Obviously, if we level grind further, that's fine, too, but I think 5 is a reasonable, and then we'll gain the levels uh, from this, so. Yeah, unfortunately, depending on how situations go, you may end up having to fight the same battle if you leave after a certain point of time. So I'm going to take care of these guys off screen since I've already just done it. I'll be back in a second. All right. We took care of them. Not too bad. We did take a bit of damage, though. Uh, let's see. Um, don't want to use a... I might save my heals for the boss. So let's go ahead and use an herb on. Let's in ourselves. All right. Let's keep going. <clears throat> and when we gain some levels, we'll be a bit more hardy. Yeah, this is why a good thing I gave Let's the armor. Jeez. We're taking a lot more damage. Yeah, we got a pallet nut in here. Let's take a look at that. New, it's a new item. So Paladin uh, increases our agility by five points, so we can use on any character, and it'll permanently increase our agility. Uh, and agility, what that does is its main use is to for turns. Sometimes it can affect um, your ability to dodge. But let's see. I'll go over the. Give me the specifics. Give me just a second. See so agility value for ally. How value is equal to higher percentage of dodge attacks. So, yeah. So higher. Probably give it to Lutz just because he's um, uh, he's t he has a bit less HP than Alec does, not by much, but still. You could wait and use this for later points in the game, but I'll use Lux quite a bit, uh, Lutz quite a bit at some point, so I will give it the Paladin. Because Alec can take can take the damage, so. All right, I'll show you the fight for these enemies just because it's a new area, so. It's just if I have to go back to an area and then fight an enemy again, I will skip that, obviously, because there's no point showing that, so. Realistically, I probably shouldn't even show this fight because there's not, not a point to it, but, uh, well, there's always a point, but you know what I mean, like, um, uh, I've already fought these guys before, but. All right, nice. Always make sure that you can back up or get away so that way if you have the chance you can just hit them from behind or whatever all right that way you get more damage looks like we got another herb from that nice yeah we're gonna learn a new ability from ah, i can't jump over because he's flying oh well not matter i can one shot him anyway oh we got a herb as well nice Wait, why didn't you attack me from the back? You could have easily done that. Yeah, sometimes the AI in this game is a little weird when it comes to like doing stuff. Sometimes it, you think it'd be logical, but then it'd be like, no, I'm not gonna do that. Much. All right, might go through this whole fight without taking any damage. Oh, another herb, nice. Yeah, that's usually why I don't buy extra herbs for th these parts, just because most likely you're gonna. Uh, gonna get quite a few just from the drops from the creatures. Yes. Nice, get a level. Yeah, most of these early parts aren't gonna be... You just have to be kind of vaguely aware, at least in the early game, be vaguely aware of where your placement is, because it is a strategy RPG. More of the straight-up RPG, because straight-up RPG, you could just, you know, press the button to win, that type of situation, but we're not in this case, so... Uh-oh, more monsters. All right, choose our allies. All right, who we got this time? All right, looks like we got ourselves some uh, snake, uh, sidewinders and uh, bats. Looks like only the two bats or whatever, but. 
Nah, not quite. I was hoping I had one shot. But unfortunately, because I couldn't hit him from the back, so. But uh, maybe we can get Alec to take the hit. Since he's a little good. Yeah, his counterattack, uh, I don't know if I went over that, but there's a small chance of uh, you uh, hitting back at an enemy when they attack you. And, uh, yeah, nice, getting all those herbs. Unfortunately, Lutz, I think because his rep is ranged, he can't, uh, if he can't counterattack, it's very rare, because I don't recall, I believe he can't counter with his current weapon. I know Alec can, for sure. All right, let's, uh, they're done, so let's keep on going on. Yeah, we're just hunters defeating the flora fauna. No, no problem. You can either go left or right. We'll go. We'll come back this way later. We have. Well, we can go back. So, all right. Let's see, there should be a treasure in here. Look at this place. Nice little, nice little detail. Oops. Wrong button. All right, here we get an iron spear. No one can equip that though. That's weird. Nah, that's probably nothing. Maybe just some random old adventure or something like that, so we could probably sell the treasure. Now, let's go over here. Let's see, do I want to... Hmm. I haven't used a spell, so I can, I can go this way, that's fine. Alright. And here we get a falcon statue. Is it the, is it what dreams are made of? Another palanut. Shimmering stone. And a shimmering stone. Or shimmer stone, I'm sorry. Let's take a look at those. Yeah, you already know about the Paladin. Huh? The Falcon statue, it's an accessory. Uh, prevents the silent status being kept, uh, cast on you. And then the Shimmer Stone. Huh. Unusual synthesis item. I wonder what that means. Eh, yeah, probably nothing. Well, maybe it's something we'll figure out later. But I'll give that to Alec just because he's the healer. So just in case anyone can silence us, they won't silence us. So. Alright, let's uh, go up. And we'll go back to that other treasure here in a second. Or the other path, which will lead us to treasure. Yeah, this game doesn't have, uh, does, like most, like the previous Ark of the Lads, this doesn't really have uh, random encounters. It's, they're all set in a specific spot, but what the, what's this? Yeah, these are healing spots, so usually before a boss, the game will give you a, a freebie heal. Anyway, and here we get another Shimmer Stone. And we can also, the green one is a, a green uh, orb is a safe spot, so let's go ahead and save it. takes a hot minute but that's the old PlayStation for you so all right let's go down back down this will connect to the room where you could have split off that before so yeah it's open I would have a well we get five monster in here anyway but uh-oh got new enemies in here Ogres. Uh, ogres have 40 HP, 60 HP, 39 attack, and 5 defense. Uh, so be careful with these guys. Uh, this is pro If you want to get some extra experience, this would be the way to go. Is to fight, go into this, <coughs> uh, reset this room multiple times, and fight the ogres. Oh no, it's an ogre! I bet they have layers. Yeah, there's a couple of sidewires there too. All right, let's see. Yeah, I have to get a little bit closer for that. And since that room next uh, next door is a healing spot, we can just basically fight this fight, go back into the room, heal, and then reset this over and over and over again. And that's a way to get, I wouldn't say a crazy amount of levels, but a decent amount, so. Yeah, let's cast it. Let's see if we can, uh, <laughs> Ah, nice. We're able to confuse him, so... Ah, he still hit me, though. Ow. Oops. Yeah, let's go ahead and just knife rain again. Yeah, force ring <coughs> is useful because the whole ability to possibly... Uh, 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 confuse him, so... Another herb. Awesome. We got level 7. And we got new magic. I'll go over that here in a second. Let's cast a uh, force ring again. Why not? <laughs> the only reason I'm doing that is because of uh, um, 
the healing spot right next door, otherwise I wouldn't spa spam that stuff. Nah. Uh, like I said, Confuser does not immediately mean... Let me see, let me read the exact Ew, description for Confuse, just to, for those who are curious. Uh, units will attack and use skills indiscriminately, attacking a friend or foe with as much gusto. Physical attacks remove their status. So, for you know, for those who want to know. Alright, there's this guy off. Well, it didn't quite hit level 8, but... Alright, let's see. Yeah, pretty... Are we pretty close to level? Not really. Mm. But anyway, uh, the new ability we got is steal. So what that... Well, it's as it sounds. Certain enemies in the game will have useful items to steal, like in this place with all the items that were... Creatures that were dropping the bats and everything with that. Uh, we could... Uh, we could we could steal from them multiple times to get heals now. So... Or herbs, I mean. So if you want to stack up on herbs, you could steal from them. And then just go back into this room and heal over and over and over again. Uh, so you can get a nice fat stack of herbs. So, um, I could probably go ahead and do it now. I was thinking about waiting until I got to level 8 to fight the, the boss of this place. But, surprise, uh, spoilers, there's going to be a boss in this place. Eh. I think, I think we can do it at this level, why not? Alright, let's do a save really quick. <clears throat> Go ahead and save here. And the real, I, if anything, I would have kept fighting these guys till I reached level seven because I want the steel ability because I want to use it here in a second. Would you look at that? It's some kind of door made of crystal. Why is my Final Fan? Why is Final Fantasy in my Arc Three? The Ghost Dream Crystal must be behind these. Wow, could it be those? Seems like the obvious statement of the week. Yeah. Now, if you if you're not uh, if you're afraid of going on. Go to the recovery fountain. If not, push on. Okay, then. Here we go. Here goes nothing. I said, probably it'd be better to be level 8, but I think we'll be fine. We need to push harder. I can scarcely believe my eyes. It opened. Let's go before they close again. Right behind you, buddy. The crystal is close. I can feel it. Yeah, all right, if you say so. Crystal room. That's the most beautiful thing I've ever... Dun, dun, dun. Oh, great, the crystal's closed again. Well, are we going to starve in here then? Uh-oh, that's not good. Yeah, that didn't work. It's no use. <laughs> it's no use! All right, Silver, it won't budge. That's not what I wanted to hear. Can't you just lie to me, Alec? I keep wanting to call him Alex for some reason. Now we're stuck in this place. God knows how deep underground. I'm having trouble breathing. Is it getting hotter in here? All right, calm down, dude. <laughs> Hell, having a little trouble, kids? Who's there? It's you, the cowboy. Welcome. It's about time I finally got here. I'm Tengara, keeper of the Ghost Dream Crystal here. Hey, you're, uh, you're the guy from the Hunter's Guild. How'd you beat us here? Don't question my amazing powers, for I'm Tangeron. I just happen to be the guardian of the Ghost Dream Crystal, too. Yeah, I like the fact they point out the fourth wall break that how did this guy get here before us? It's clearly a cave. Like, there's no way he could have beaten us here. I've come to deny your quest to gather a crystal fragment. I can't let you anybody take fragments and become hunters. Go home and suckle your mommy's, uh, mommy's little babies. You have a lot growing up to do. Suckle my mom? What is up with you, guy? Assaulting manner or not, you won't make us leave without a crystal fragment. I've come here to follow my dream of becoming a hunter. Hunter, hunter. And you failed. Face it, kiddo. You're the dregs of hunter candidates. I can't let you have a precious crystal fragment from this most holy of places. This crystal holds the hopes and dreams of all who survived the great disaster. It is a symbol of the hope that one day the world will be as it was before that black event. Now I am sworn to protect it with all my power. Don't cross me, kid. But we want to make the world a better place, too. That's why I want to be a hunter. Besides, I'm not trudging back out of this rat hole without the fragment we came for. Have it your way. Uh-oh. I mean, he does have a gun. Yeah, the only way to prove your worth is to take me on. You still game, kid? If that's the only way, then I'll do my best. You're going to be sorry you took us on. 
No, he's doing the typical Japanese uh, anime protagonist uh, stretching and all that. Well, we can take you on for boss time against the cowboy himself, uh, Tengaran. So let's uh, go ahead and fight him. Tengaran has 155 HP, 50 MP, 40 attack, and 6 to 7 defense. The thing about him is he uses a gun. So the way the gun works is it's like an Arc of Legends 2. For those who don't know, guns can be used to hit multiple squares if they're standing right next to each other. So, for the course of this fight, we do not want to have Lutz and um, main character standing like this to each other. We either want to be diagonal or uh, uh, farther away from each other. Otherwise, they'll keep shooting us with guns. So, first of all, let's steal from him. If we can do it. Ah! Well, we want to steal from him and... Uh, uh, grab something from him. That's why I saved it, just in case I, for some reason, don't... Oof, ouch. Alright, let's try this again. Let's try it from the back. Whoops. Steal again. Oh, come on! This is gonna happen quite often, isn't it? At least he's, uh, balancing out our his, uh, his attacks. Alright, come on, dude. Oh, give me a break. I'm gonna have to heal pretty soon. Yeah, this fight's not really that difficult overall. I just like uh, level eight would have made this fight a lot easier. Oh come on! Yeah. I might have to level up because sometimes, uh, like uh, when it comes to stealing, sometimes it's a case of level difference can make it easier or harder. Uh, let's go in here actually. Since he did quite a bit of damage, just. Since it's basically me against Tangaren with just Alec, apparently, because the game doesn't want to, want to steal. Come on, game. Oh, this is fun. I love it. I might have to do this off screen. Come on, game. Give me the, give me the item. Huh. We can just do this all day. This isn't that hard of a fight. Keep, keep doing it. <sighs> I love it. I love I love basing this off randomness. I, I I hate when I when stuff like that just doesn't work. This happened to me in the previous game too. Every time I tried to steal, it took forever to get drops and steals to work. It was insane. There we go. We got the traveler's robe. So. I mean, I didn't. I guess I didn't need it. But I wanted to steal it, dang it. Alright, he's almost out. Okay, just making sure there wasn't anything else, so. Uh, yeah, let's finish him off. I wanna, I wanna have more stuff to steal for money purposes. There we go. Well, yeah, I guess it did work out that, so. <clears throat> All right. Is he shaking, or did the game spaz out? Dot, dot, dot. Guess we showed you, eh, buddy? You show me your strength of resolve. And you have revealed yourself to be worthy despite your clumsy demeanor. I shall permit you to take a crystal fragment. Fantastic. You're not gonna shoot in this back, are you? All right. Crystal fragment taken. Woohoo! We got the fragment now. Let's go back to the Hunter's Guild and fast. The sooner the better. Or sorry, the sooner the better. This is just the beginning, kids. It gets much harder from here out. Well, thank you for the advice and vote of confidence. Good luck. Good luck. Sorry, I can't help it. Ever since Star Fox 64, I can't say good luck without going. Good luck. Anyway, we automatically leave the cave, so let's head back to Itoi and uh, and get our reward. Or, well, the reward of being a hunter. You have any new dialogue? That's a piece of the Ghost Dream Crystal. I've always wanted something like that. Can I have it? No? Well, that's not very fair. <laughs> have you decided to give me the crystal after all? No? Well, then stop bothering me. <laughs> I forgot that there's a lot. Sometimes the game has funny lines like that. Oh my, that's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Of course, my vision these days isn't what it once was, but my lance has outstanding. Oh, sorry. I've always wondered why the Hunter's Guild had those silly tests. Oh my god. I, I, sorry, folks. I didn't mean to blast through the dialogue. That was an accident. 
slippy, slippy twitch of the fingers, you know what I mean? Alright, let's try that again with style. Okay, now once again. Uh, let's see. That's outstanding. I bet my money that this is the crystal from the trial cave. Oh, I always wonder why the Hunter's Guild had those silly tests. Seems like a good hunter could come back maimed or killed with just one small mistake. But I guess that's why I'm not ready to place it. Wow, you got the crystal. <laughs> you got the potion. You're much braver than I would be. The trial cave that crystal was in is dangerous. I think if you talk to the people after that, they do mention the cave. But, you know, I want to try to balance out actual gameplay and talking to people. Wow, that's about the ghost tree crystal. I've, I heard about the ghost tree crystal, but I never thought I'd see it. That's one amazing look crystal. I think I passed a kidney stone about that big once. <laughs> uh, okay, so maybe this game has some clever clever NPC dialogue every once in a while. Whoa, that's the ghost tree crystal, isn't it? That means that you went to the, into the trial cave and lived. Wow, that crystal is really cool looking. Where's the other? Ah. Oh, it looks like you passed your Hills, Hunter's Guild test. What are you talking to me for? Go get to the guild with the crystal. I sure wonder if, uh... <clears throat> I wonder if uh, Poco has anything to say. Probably not. Usually people inside usually don't have much to say. Oh, he's gone. Nuts. Good God, that's a beautiful fragment of the Ghost Dream Crystal. I would get that crystal fragment to the guild quickly. You don't want to use it. Yeah, cool. I tried that damn on a test. could do it. I ain't doing it too much. Don't let me that way. You ain't bother me. <laughs> Most beautiful woman in the world tends the liquor at this place. It almost makes the watered down drinks taste better. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, she's pretty, she's pretty hot. Uh, you seem a little young to be in here. Okay. Yeah, some characters get new dolls and some don't. Uh, oh yeah, you get all tingly when a beautiful woman looks at you like that. Oh uh, yeah, most guys like that. I wish I wasn't such a loser with the ladies. I tried everything to break out of this rut I'm in, but nothing works. Well, sometimes you either gotta change your, your your attitude, your personality, your clothes, your way of going about things, or try different ladies. You know, there's there's plenty of ways to change it. So, all right, I think we should go go to it. So, uh, let's see. Ah, okay, my monsters. Okay, so not everyone has new dialogue. So, unfortunately, I'm not up to every single ver version of dialogue change and all this other stuff, as you can tell. So. If, if I talk to someone, great. If not, um, I would I would say play the game yourself and see what everyone else has to say. So, Say, that's a mighty fine. Wait, you better get that to the guild. You do know that, that with that crystal, you can make a hunter, right? Well, what are you waiting for? Stop talking to me and get to the guild. Yeah, hunter, uh, working designs always was a little bit better with, when it came to the translation and uh, NBC dialogue than most game other translators were. Hey, kiddo, did you... Or sorry, hey kiddo, did you bring the back the ghost dream crystal fragment? Certainly. Do you have any doubt? Or did you have any doubt? Hey, here, check it out. Handed over the crystal. Yes. Yep, this is the real deal. Good work, kiddo. What now? <clears throat> well, let's see. We've got uh, got to get a plate, and but we're not hungry. No, no, you blabbermouth fool. Not a dinner plate, a metal plate. I was present seeing your friend's official hunter's crest. So they use. Did he just press his back? Nah. <clears throat> so they use the dream crystal to make a uh, fragment. And here it is. Congratulations, Al. Welcome to the Hunter's Guild. Da 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 da. It looks like. Whoa, there are pieces of the crystal they brought in the crest. Yep, standard issue hunter crest, and you retrieved some of the materials to make it. I'll, I'll treasure it always. Yeah, it'll probably never really be brought up again other than it just being an important item. Yeah, yeah, the new guys always say that. Just remember that goofy crap when you're face down a 50-foot fire-breathing chimera. I don't think that's an actual thing. Yeah, I like that they use the theme, the main theme music for this. That wasn't too hard at all, and now you're a hunter, Alec. What now? Huh? Huh? That kid needs some medication. <laughs> oh, I forgot how funny the dialogue is. Yeah, this this game was translated at a time that it was my sense of humor. So a lot of the jokes will be stuff I find funny. So maybe younger viewers might not get a lot of the humor or the type of humor. So I apologize. But Okay, guys, listen up. I want to introduce our newest hunter, Alec and his friend Lutz. Give him a hand, okay? No problem. 
Hi there, I'm Jay. My specialty is to track and tag out wanted monsters. Most of the monsters they post over there are ones I collect the bounty for. I'm always up for a little friendly competition, so see if you can best me. Oh, you got a big old sword. That makes sense. Hey, son. Ah, oh, hey, dude. Hey, hey, a good job, kid. I hope you know what you're letting yourself in for. Being a hunter is a world of effort. If you show yourself to be strong, civilization is best to rise at your feet. But if you're weak and indecisive, well, let's not talk about that. I really am a hunter now. Guild job one, hunter registration test completed. <laughs> and the music, and everyone's like, all right, back to work. No cake, all right, no ice cream, we're done. Now that I've got the official crest, we can take on guild jobs. Great, Alec, just get a job that will take us across the ocean. I can just see it now. Beaches, treasure, women. Yeah, come on, Alec. <laughs> you kids are a laugh riot. You think you can just grab and get a job and float across the ocean and do it? Uh, we, uh, oh, we can't? No, 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 no. You need lots of experience to get a job like that. The bad part is that EDU is pretty peaceful, so getting experience is tough. You'll be lucky to have enough experience by the time you're 30, kid. Uh, 30? Yeah, and even then, a job where you can travel on a boat is rare. You just say that because it hasn't been done yet. I'll change that. If I take every job I can get and do it well, I know I can make it happen. I'm going to see that world across the ocean one way or another. <laughs> Good look, kiddo. Besides, I must cross the ocean if I'll have any chance of meeting the hunter that saved me. Come on, let's, let's get started. It's always nice to see the new hunters so full of fire. We've got a number of priority requests here to choose from. You can only take a maximum of three jobs at a time, and you can do them in any order. All right, well, what do we got? So we got, uh, so basically what happens is we're going to take jobs until the game presents us with the official job. The final job to leave this place will be job six. Now, to it's best to do every single job you can for obvious benefits, re experience, reward, and all that. But if you do, if you do a couple of these, I think it takes only like a couple of jobs for the final, for job six to appear. But if you take job six, that's it. You can't take any more jobs and you'll lose out on them. So just go down the line and take all of them. So first of all, we got protect medical plants. Client Lendl, ADG and six stars. The town herbologist Lendl has requested his house be guarded while he's away on business. See Lendl at his home and eat the toy for details. Okay. These medical plants are valuable enough that thieving scum try to steal them. Stay on guard. All right. Let's, uh, uh, he said three jobs, right? So let's try supplies for Hunter J. We just talked to that guy a second ago. Uh, client, the guild, Hunter G, six uh, stars. We have received an emergency request for supplies from the one monster specialist known as J. He's at the Kiska Marsh or the Luke Riverbank. Okay. This job has danger written all over it. Just to be sure you get it, kid, let me explain the fire points of this job. I need you to deliver supplies to Jay. He's a hunter specialist and one of monsters. I want you to take him a bigger seed and an adventurer's vest. Your job is to buy the supplies here and take them to Jay. A bigger seed and an adventurer's vest. Got it. You, you already got some of the stuff. That's just a bonus. Bon let's, let's work for you. You can't give him items you have equipped, though. Check. But if we have to buy the supplies, who's going to pay for them? Ah, uh, that would be you. Huh? Relax, the cost of the items is worked into the bounty. I'll give you an advance so you don't stream your shorts, kid. Stream your shorts. Is it salute your shorts? That was an interesting TV show. Yeah, I, I don't even know what the stream your shorts line is from. That must be something from the coast during my time. Jay is, Jay is probably at Kiska Marsh or Luke Riverbank. We'll find him. All right. Some jobs are more detailed than others when it comes to certain things. Anyway, uh, and finally, job four. Nasty Creatures in the House by Nate. 120, uh, 120G and seven stars. A client named Nate is requested help in a vacant house he owes in a toy. He's having trouble with monsters and would like them removed ASAP. Contact Nate at the house for details. Ah, remember that vacant house we kept running into? The opponent in this case seems fairly dangerous. Watch your step. All right. Now the real work begins. Good luck. Oh, he said that. Oh, right, anyway. I'm rooting for you. Are you working hard or hardly working? <laughs> Don't hear that too often these days. Hey, kid, that was the only thing going for you. Say, I can tell you about the guild if you want. Oh, sure. Let's take a look. This island was thrown into chaos during the Great Disaster. The guild here was open during that chaotic time to assist those in need. 
It was because of the great disaster that the guild's purpose changed a little. It turned into a more people-oriented uh, operation. Hmm. All right. How about the merits? Merits are those star things, by the way. Successful job completion yields not only monetary rewards, but something else. Guild merits are awarded for job completion. They are used to improve your rank. Same, a, 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 same thing as the second game. After passing the registration, everyone starts as a sissy hunter. <laughs> uh, what a wussy. However, with hard work, you can achieve the ultimate rank of god hunter. Alright, let's look at guild jobs. Job progression goes like this. Accept a job, solve it, report back to the guild, collect merits and bounty. Hunters are honor bound to complete every job they start, but you can try to abort if necessary. Unfortunately, no other hunter will take a job. You're stuck with it. There are also times when the client will withdraw the request if you take too long. Basically, when the plot gets to a certain point, you can't do it anymore. A client withdrawal accounts as an abort job, so work fast once you accept it. One of monsters are the worst of the worst. If they aren't taken out as soon as you find them, you'll never know what'll happen. Huh. Let's take a look. All right, what do we got here? We got uh, Garius, a slime. A shape-shifting monster is attacking travelers on Today Bridge. Remove this threat to tourism. All right. And then we got uh, two, Odessia. These are basically different versions of the same creatures we fought before. Slumber flower. flower. This odor odorous monster's scent results in absent-mindedness and sleep. Exterminate the moose. A Fusca freak. Fusha. Fusia? Fusca. Fus. I know that's not how you pronounce it. Fusha. Fusia freak. Whatever. Uh, okay. Mormo print. Three. Razorback the opossum. A huge squirrel like monster has attacked children on the Mormo plain. Defeat the fanged rodent. A terror island. Mormo plain. Alright. Then we've got Calamitous, a dragonfly. Calamitous is attacking hunters on the Luque riverbank, expanding its territory. Contain it immediately. Alright. Terminus, a zombie. Although this poison spitter is yet to lead the swamp, its venom has become more vir virulent. Eliminate future risk. The Terror Island, Kiska Marsh. And finally, uh, Alfeum, uh, uh, poison slime. This uncharacteristically intelligent, strong slime has caused untold damage. Liquefy the monster, Kiska Marsh. All right. Man, we got a lot of things we can do. We can fight all these different monsters, take all these jobs. But which job will we do first? Would we go monster bu busting, ghost busting, or all of the above? We'll find out what happens next time in the next episode of Ark the Lad 3. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Hey, you! if you hear about a job across the ocean, you should give it to that kid. He's definitely different than the others. Hey, if it's, if it's no skin off your nose, no problem here. If I had a little more fire left, I'd do the hard stuff. But I found that living from bounty to bounty has its rewards too.